But I do want to ask uh, uh, one more that was in the, the box, because I think this is just really so, so important that so, so many of us struggle with. While making grants globally, some nonprofits at times are not equipped or large enough to be able to provide these data inputs. How can we make sure local causes can help us with impact measurement while not placing additional burden on them? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, we work with, with thousands of nonprofits and those are global. And, and we've been able to, through best available data um, and through asking just enough, so simple questions, um, to, um, to really be able to level the playing field for smaller nonprofits globally to communicate their impact uh, while being very clear about the level of their, their measurement um, sophistication. And, and I think um, offering, selecting, and sharing a set of, of indicators that you'd like partners to, to measure uh, really from the get-go is going to be important for communicating early on what you'd like uh, those, those outcomes to be tracked towards so that you're you're not just uh, opening up a, a big comment box and saying, what happened? Uh, which is, is probably the most terrifying thing that a, a new nonprofit or, or one that doesn't have the resources um, that a larger um, organization would have. Yeah. And, and I also think that, you know, not, it's not necessarily more metrics or better. It's getting to those key metrics that, that we need, because sometimes we just get too many metrics and it's too much to handle sometimes it's too many um it's it's just not not possible to to manage so just making sure like what Sadie said at the beginning you know is this the metric that we want that is going to reflect what we want to communicate what we're hoping to 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 achieve yeah and i think that was a great point uh to end on meredith uh quality 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 is is so critical 